Hi there, my name is John Maybe, and welcome to Hippo Shorts. In this segment, we're going to talk about gestational diabetes mellitus screening. So for our purposes here, gestational diabetes mellitus is diabetes that's first diagnosed in the second or third trimester of pregnancy. That is, the patient does not have pre-existing type 1 or type 2 diabetes mellitus. Let's look at this slide. In the U.S., since 90% of pregnant women have at least one risk factor for glucose impairment during pregnancy, universal screening or testing is typically performed between 24 to 28 weeks of gestation. The most widely used approach is this two-step process. Step one is a screening glucose challenge test, and if that's positive, then we move on to step two, which is a diagnostic glucose tolerance test. So let's go through this uh, table. Step one is administering a non-fasting 50-gram oral glucose challenge test. So an hour after that, we measure the blood glucose, and it's considered positive if the threshold is greater than 140. We'll see that depending on what organization or what set of guidelines you use, this number varies somewhat, but we're going to use this one for our slide set here today. And now if this is positive, step two then would be the next step. Here we administer a fasting uh, 100 gram oral glucose tolerance test, and typically the blood glucose is measured at fasting and again at one two, and three hours after ingestion. So positive thresholds here for fasting would be greater than 105, after one hour, greater than 190, after two hours, greater than 165, and greater than 145 at three hours. So if two or more of these are positive, that's considered a positive test. ACOG, on the other hand, specifies only one of these needing to be positive, and they consider that a positive test. That wraps it up for this section of HIPPO Shorts. For more information on this or other topics, come on down to hippoeducation.com, and we'll see you next time.